are very excited by the Cheshire Recognizer. It combines technology developed at UC Berkeley in the Sensor and Actuator Center and at the Swarm Laboratory. By focusing on the power and size constraints of mobile devices, we've created a new and natural way for interacting with electronics. For a long time, people have used light to detect objects, like the way a camera works. But using light and cameras to detect objects in 3D requires a lot of power and computation. Now, inspired by our medical ultrasound, we've made micro-machined ultrasonic transducers that operate in air. The best part is that the sensor is really small and really low power. Whereas a camera takes one watt to record video, our sensor takes 400 microwatts to do 3D range finding. That's low enough power to run the system for 30 hours on a battery this small. It's so small, you might not even be able to see it. We've built a prototype unit that demonstrates this technology. This is the ultrasound chip, and this is the custom chip that sends and receives electrical signals from the ultrasound chip. We use an array of tiny ultrasound transducers to send a pulse of sound waves into the environment. We drive the sensor and it moves up and down, pushing the air back and forth and creating sound waves. The sound waves travel out through the chip and away from the transducers. Those waves bounce off objects in the environment and the echoes return to the transducer array, which measures the time it took for the echoes to return. From the time of flight, we find the location of the objects relative to the sensor. This allows us to enable new user interfaces, like flipping through a photo gallery without even touching the screen. This is the type of technology we expect to move beyond the borders of the university and into numerous applications that will leverage the small size and low power dissipation of this technology. We believe that by improving the way we interact with our devices and the way we interact with each other, we can make a better, smarter, more connected world.